guys, it's Sarah. Um, so I decided to come on and just talk about my crazy carbo load weekend. Um, <clears throat> what idiot, especially after the good loss I had this past week, decides to sabotage themselves by having a carb o load weekend? You're looking at her. I don't even, I don't know. Okay, so, like, I even put stuff in my MyFitnessPal, and I was still under, you know, <laughs> calories. Matter of fact, I think I was under 800 calories every day. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. And, on top of that, sorry, I'm burning up. I gotta turn the air on. Uh, I was, not only was I under calories or I ate plenty I mean I was in within calories um I, I just when I went back and looked through it didn't even seem that bad at the time I knew it was horrible and I was mindlessly doing it um and I tried to record as best I could so some things may be a little off on oh, my, my fitness about <coughs> I'm so sorry um and I don't know if I've talked about it on here or not, but I know that I've made a comment on Rob Ringo's videos. I was in denial about being a um, binge eater, of being a uh, food addict for a long time. <clears throat> and I've really just come into the realization within like the last couple months, um, probably the last two, probably since Christmas, I've realized that I actually had a food addiction and had problems. I think because in the beginning, after I started my journey, things were going along so smoothly and so well, and I was sticking to the plan, was not getting off the plan. You know, I may have a few bad days here and there, but in general, I was staying on course and um, didn't, you know, didn't really have a reason to get off. And then once I start, like, introducing things or holidays where there's more crap around, um... <clears throat> I started realizing that I was kind of going to be an all or nothing. Like, it was either going to have, I could either have a little, I couldn't just have a little. If I had a little, I was just going to need a lot of it. I don't know if I'm making any sense, guys, and I'm really sorry. I have a headache. So, I decided, <coughs> so, pre-op, my most favorite meal ever was dressing. Like, turkey and dressing without the turkey. So, just the dressing. Just the cornbread dressing um which is like cornbread and sage and i know everybody's dressing around the world is different but that's what we eat in tennessee or at my mom's house is cornbread dressing you know with your celery and your cornbread and your sage and in all honesty it is not even that bad i don't think i you know put in some different recipes and um it wasn't even that bad but it is a lot of carbs because you're getting a lot of bread and i that's been my most favorite so when i had my last meal <clears throat> before I had surgery, that's what I had. I had dressing, and I can't remember what we had. We made all this random food. Oh, <laughs> we had um, hash brown casserole, which, P.S., my husband makes the most amazing hash, br hash brown casserole. People have tried to duplicate his recipe. People will get his exact recipe, and nobody can make it like him. It's phenomenal. Seriously, I'm sad that you are missing out. And I can't remember what all we have. Those are two things for sure I remember because those are the two things I knew that after when I started my journey, those would be things that would not be in my diet. Um, have I had either one of those? I'm thinking. Uh, at, at Thanksgiving, I did have dressing. And the funny thing was is my mom made me my own. So it was, a, I mean, it was a little bit healthier if you want to say that. But it was in a portioned size. And I was very, very thankful for that. I mean, I had said that's, that's what I was going to eat for Thanksgiving. And I didn't even eat that much, just like a few bites. And uh, have I had hash brown casserole? Yes. I've had a tablespoon. Like, we had a, grill, a cookout for something, a grill out or something, and I had like a spoonful. But did I eat it in the mass quantities that I used to? No. Because obviously, you can't eat things in mass quantities after you've had the vertical gastric sleeve. And if you try to, you're going to be sick. I'm really rambling. So basically what I want to say is I have really been trying to keep a food budget and trying to cook things that we have in the freezer. We had some leftover squash from last year. 
and that have a really yummy squash dressing recipe and I was trying to get use up this squash and so I decided that I was going to use one of the bags to make squash dressing and I asked my husband about it and he was like yeah that'd be great and I was like well that doesn't really have any protein in it so and we had I got some pork tenderloin and I made a little one not even that big and I thought well I'll eat some of that and we'll have the squash dressing well I made the squash dressing but in the process of making it, I made the cornbread in the cast iron skillet. The yummy, yummy, yummy. I love burnt things, and I love burnt carbs. I love crunchy edges of cornbread. I ate all day Saturday. All day Saturday. I started that cornbread. That morning, I had the banana protein muffins that I got from ba the Banster. Um, Banster for life. And they were delicious. And they weren't, I mean, there's really no, I mean, there were some carbs in it, but it was very few. Um, cause it's a banana and an apple and an oatmeal and, um, they were really good. Uh, it made me feel like I was eating a real muffin. So I had that and then I had a little turkey sausage. And for lunch, I ate half of a veggie, um, a veggie burger with some salsa on it. And then after that, I had, um, <clears throat> I started making this dressing. So I started boiling my squash which by the way it was delicious bowl of my squash and i made my cornbread for my dressing and i as soon as that cornbread came out of the oven and it wasn't gonna burn my fingertips off i started eating it i nibbled on that cornbread just the edges at first all day and then i nibbled on the bottom because the bottom was burnt and then i made the dressing and i ended up only having one bite of the pork tenderloin and I just ate in t the rest of my meal my rest of my half a cup whatever it is I had um, I measured out <clears throat> I didn't even measure it out I don't know why I'm saying that I was totally just lying I ate the rest and dressing I didn't even eat anything else um, I mean I could have made some kind of healthier choice no I just ate dressing that was my favorite and it was so good and it made me really sad <laughs> that I couldn't eat more, and then I felt really depressed about it because I actually have a problem. Um, and I felt like crap, and I ate it anyways. So I have issues, and I have a problem, and I don't... <laughs> I probably should get some counseling. Um, I live in a very rural, small-town, crappy place, and we don't have a lot of options for stuff. I mean, there are no options anywhere close to me for surgeries, so... You know, my surgeon's office is um, <clears throat> three and a half hours away. So, I, I just, I know we, there's people that do counseling here, but I don't know if anybody could help me as far as food goes. I guess I should make calls and find out. I don't know. So, anyway, Sunday morning, decided that I had had a crappy day with carbs yesterday. So, I was going to do better. Got up, had my Greek yogurt. I had... Um, some vegetable soup for lunch that my mom had made, which, P.S., my parents, my dad had called and asked, did I want pizza or soup? That was our two options. My mom works for CPA, so this time of year is really bad for her. And I was like, um, well, I'm not going to eat the pizza. If you're going to have pizza, then I'll bring something else. And then dad said, we eat soup. And I was like, yeah. So I just tried to get as much vegetables and beef and without the liquid. And I did eat like three crackers with that. And I put some cheese on it. And then my mom had made some biscuit pudding for my best friend. Just keep in mind that on Sundays we always eat at my parents' house and my dad always makes some big elaborate dessert and I've not been having any. Guess who ate biscuit pudding? Because she sent it home with me to give to my best friend because that's her favorite. Guess who ate some? This girl. So I just was like Carb City this weekend and I don't even know where it came from. I've been fine today. I decided I was only going to eat Greek yogurt today. And I have had uh, two three-ounce containers of Greek yogurt. Um, I had some beef jerky earlier, which I know is not the best, but, I mean, it's good protein. And um, <clears throat> I had some edamame, that I, a fourth of a cup that I couldn't even finish. I only had half of it. And I don't know what I'm going to have for supper. I usually try to do better about planning my meals, but I, ha I need to sit down and do that. I haven't done that. So, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to share that in this process. You know, I'm right at 10 months. I think today is today my 10 months anniversary. Oh my goodness. Is today the 26th? 10 months anniversary, and here I am. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share. Hope you'll have a good night. Bye.